This is a second of a two-part reflection. If you haven't seen last week's, you might want to go back and look at it. But first, let's take a moment to look at a nature clip and be inspired by God's handiwork in the heavens. And it is hot out here today. So I don't know if I'm gonna stay out here or go inside where it's just a little bit cooler and I have some air conditioning. But I'll start here and see how it goes. This week is part two of last week. Last week we were talking about forgiving other people and how to forgive. Now I need to say that this is not a handy dandy one, two, three method on step on how to forgive. There's no such thing and forgiveness sometimes is very difficult and takes uh, as much courage and faith as we can muster and then God has to also step in to help us with that. I will say it's this, what, what I've been sharing was just some tips by request of things that have helped me in the past and maybe things that have helped other people. So don't see this as a one, two, three, you know, answer to how to forgive, but see it as a collection of steps or a collection of tips and one or two of them may be helpful to you. I started last week, ran out of time, gonna finish up this week. Heat index is running around 107 to 109 this afternoon. And my shade area, see I'm in the sun when I get close, and my shade is getting to be a little bitty patch, so I may not stay here very long. Here's a tip I want to give you about how to forgive people. Never forget no matter how they're acting, that this person that you are looking at is a person that God loves. They're a person made in the image of God, even if that image seems pretty distorted and messed up. There's something in there precious to God that Jesus died for. <laughs> Look at this. I'm all out of shade. <laughs> Well, one more point. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> there was somebody watching me when they saw me do that downstairs, down in the, in the parking lot. They thought I was crazy. <laughs> Okay, the next tip on how to forgive. I always remind myself that how others treat me is none of my business. That's between them and God. How I treat other people, however, that is very much my business. And as a Christian, very much God's business. I remember when I was just a, a little kid, one of my friends I wanted to invite them over to the house one day. And I gave them a call on the telephone and I asked, uh, you know, can you come over this afternoon and play? And I heard them, they must have put their hand over the phone, but I heard them talk to the mom. And they said, I'll have to ask mom. And then I heard them say, say no, Rob wants us to come over, say no. Oh, I took offense at that. It hurt my feelings as a kid. As an adult now, I see people still get their feelings hurt when they're excluded for something or somebody is kind of curt to them or doesn't recognize them or all sorts of things. And I remind myself that I don't know what was going on. But even if they were really doing it out of uh, meanness, that's between them and God. It doesn't make a difference on how I am going to treat them. And I find that through the years, we as Christians, can I just be blunt here? We take offense far too easily. Many things that we get worked up about, 
we should just let it go for another day. The next tip I want to share about how to forgive people is to look at Jesus. Jesus was humble and gentle and kind and meek, but he was not soft. He was tough and he was a leader and he took orders from his heavenly father, not from everybody else that tried to push him around. And I think there's something to be said for us that Gentleness, kindness, forgiveness, meekness doesn't necessarily mean softness or wishy-washy or be pushed around by everybody. That is, you can stay true to your convictions without being aggressive and oppressive, without being mean to other people. And just remember that. My um, last point of the day for today is probably just to remind you, and you should know this, that it takes time to heal, time to forgive. We can, um, we can practice forgiving, as I said, a verb. We can decide to not hold something against someone. We can treat people nicely, but still sometimes down deep inside of us, something triggers that bad memory or that, that feeling. And sometimes if we've been hurt in a, a big way, that comes back and back and back and, and very slowly fades over time. And for some of us, that, that fading is, is pretty quick. For others of us, it can take a long time. So if you practice kindness to others and forgiveness to others, and not holding the past against others, and the different kinds of tips that we've given, but you still have bad days. Just give those over to the Lord and allow the Holy Spirit to have time to work inside of you and to heal you and realize that you are trying to be all that God calls you to be. Well, the hot day has turned into a pretty warm night. The temperature's still in the 80s, even though it's nighttime, and the, uh, the heat index is at 98 degrees right now. So I think I'll wrap up this video and, and take off, but I want to say, as I do every week at this time, that we're about halfway through the week. We only have a short time before we get to meet each other and worship our Lord again on, on the Lord's Day, just a few days away. May God bless you and watch over you. And if you're having trouble forgiving someone, may God give you a little extra strength to do that.